Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today we are going to talk about QuickBooks point of sale discounts and how you can apply them and where. Before we jump into it, I'm going to tell you that it is going to be in your best interest to join our Facebook group for QuickBooks point of sale. It's going to be a community where you can ask questions and get answers from people such as myself or other QuickBooks point of sale users and we can discuss what might be the best way to solve your problems. Doesn't that sound excellent? And don't forget to check the link down below for a few QuickBooks secrets. Right now, let's jump into it. We're going to the Make a Sale screen, and I'm just going to add a few products real quick so we can talk about discounting them. All right, we got three products here. First of all, I'm going to show you that the big blue button over on the left hand side will give a discount and that would be a discount on your entire receipt. So if you want somebody to have a discount on every single thing they're buying, the entire total, you can do it this way. The blue button give a discount. There's some quick discount buttons here. Uh, question I get asked often is can we change the amount that these are because we always use such and such an amount no you can't these are stuck in stone unfortunately so I'm gonna give right off the bat I'm gonna give this customer 10% off and you can see down in the subtotal here discount negative 820 so that is the entire global discount we're gonna to refer to that as a global discount then the next kind of discount is you can choose line by line which item you want to discount and you hit quantity price and discount so if you hit that you also get some quick discount buttons but I'm going to tell you if you hit those you skip the option of choosing discount name so don't hit them right away you want to choose your discount name now what's a discount name that is how you're going to track why you're giving these discounts in the settings and preferences you can create your own discount names and you can use this in reporting to show you why people are getting discounts. Maybe they got a discount on this because it was slightly damaged or defective. Or maybe you're just giving them a comp because they're your friend. I don't know. Or they're, they're the great, greatest customer ever. So you're going to give them an extra discount for comp. So for comp, I'm going to give this person, I don't know, 14% off. What a weird number, huh? Or maybe you want to do price matching and you want to enter a discount name called price matching. And uh, that way when somebody shows you an advertisement where something is lower than your store, you can price match it and then you know why it's getting discounted. I'm going to show you that in a minute in the reporting. So comp, we're doing 14%. We hit OK. Now we can see that the original price was $4.99. That brought it down to $4.29 just for this item. So I'm going to complete this sale so we can look at the reporting and save cash, save. I don't have a printer, so whoop to do. All right, we're going to jump into reports, sales, discount summary, and you will see a little readout here. And I've done some other sales as well, so they're not all from this. Now you see global here. In our report and you can of course adjust the date on this report but on global this is how much money has been discounted using the big blue button for discount the global discount and then you can see here for discount names we can actually track why people are getting money off and if your employees are doing it correctly then it would show up here right so my name is Peter with BlackRock Business. Don't forget to jump on over to that Facebook group and join up. We would love to see you there, and I hope you have a great day.